What's going on guys, it's Stubbs here, welcome back to another video and today we are on Somerset Corsa and I wanted to show you guys my controller settings because a bunch of you have actually asked me what is my controller settings, please make a video on controller settings, it's something to be able to, to play this game with a controller, so this is what I'm going to do right now. So as you can see I am on the PC right now, I got my cursor and everything, so uh, if you guys somehow are watching this from the future, if you guys are wizards and you're watching this from the future while this game is actually out on the console, as you can see I'm on the PC, so I want to show you guys pretty much the the best controller settings that I have gotten so far with uh, with a set of Corsa and I think they've been working out very very well so far so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you guys pretty much what I have here so first of all what you're gonna have to do once you get into the settings here and you go to controls uh, make sure you go ahead and you load the Xbox 360 default settings so just go ahead click that and then apply preset right uh, there you go <laughs> anyway, now uh, what you're gonna have to do is you can pretty much just change what your gears are. You can, I think, if you go to, uh, is it advanced? No, it's not advanced. Which one is? It? I think it's this, and you can just like sort of go ahead and just check out what everything is. I'm not entirely sure. I think it, it's immediately set to what your um, pretty much very very similar settings to to um, to Forza. So this is pretty much what I left it as. So I think the only thing I changed was the gears. I'm not entirely sure if they were different, but this is pretty much what I left them as. And this is what we have here. So you have your throttle brakes and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, uh, so this is what your standard Xbox 360 gamepad is. I'm using an Xbox One controller. You can use an Xbox One controller. I think you can pretty much use any controller that you want. Uh, PlayStation 3, 4, I don't know, Steam controller, I guess. I don't know if there's a specific steam controller settings here but i i don't know what controller you guys want to use but i think you could just select the xbox 360 default one and you can just use the same sort of settings so basically what i ended up doing is i mostly changed the stuff in advance so as you can see this is the, the standard ones that you have with the xbox 360 default settings now the thing that i ended up doing here if you pay attention carefully is i ended up and there you go. I ended up changing these to the settings that you can see here. Um, you can mess around with your steering speed depending on what car you drive. That is the most important thing. That and the speed sensitivity. As you can see, this one has dropped from 80% down to 50%. This is for grip racing that I've been using. So again, steering speed is one thing that you're going to have to sort of mess around depending on the car that you drive and sort of just so you can get yourself comfortable with what um, would have basically just how the car drives and you know how fast you're going to actually end up using your left thumb to, to be able to steer and stuff like that so that's the main main thing now this is for grip racing now the only thing that i've changed for drifting was which is my second setting here is just the speed sensitivity i ended up bringing this down to 10 percent as you can see this is pretty much the exact same so that's the only difference uh, between the drift settings and the grip settings that I have is the speed, speed sensitivity. Now this, the speed sensitivity and the, the steering speed are the two main and like most important things that you should end up constantly changing in this game because of the different cars that you end up like driving. Um, you know, it, it depends on the car that you drive. You can't just have the one setting. I know it's kind of annoying, but you can't just have the one setting. You can, uh, I guess, you know, just try... Try it yourself, but the, the gamma, the filter, and the dead zone it is pretty much fine the way I decided to put it on. The rumble effects, again, the same. That's just uh, that's just the, the vibration and stuff like that. That's not really that that important. But uh, this is pretty much the most important things that you constantly have to change, which is the speed sensitivity and the steering speed. The gamma and filter, I found it perfect at 1.7 and like 2.3. I brought these down. They were a little bit higher. I brought these down a little bit, and they just... It just works perfectly. So that is pretty much my controller settings that I have for this game. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you guys want to see some driving with these settings, pretty much any video that I am making on a set of course and now and in the future and stuff like that will be with these settings until I decide to completely change the setup of the controller and I'll make like another video or I'll delete this video. Um, up until then, like these are the settings that you, sh you guys should be using because they're very, very good and they work very well. So hopefully I ended up helping some of you guys out that have this game on steam and you know obviously you guys don't have a wheel or you don't have money to buy uh you know a, a great wheel for this game so hopefully i helped out with that so thank you guys very much for watching today's video hopefully you've enjoyed it please share give it a thumbs up do all that sort of stuff support the channel support the video and uh yeah i'll talk to you guys later goodbye